Instagram. 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 Welcome. I, I, all you non-existent oh there's some sage collective hey. yo what is up sage collective <laughs> well i'm brit i'm guessing that's megan yes well tell me who you are oh i'm becca beck beck yeah becca boom rebecca whatever should oh, we good stuff. hey hey ryan hey i mean will hey y'all what's up should we turn okay should we turn our camera vertically i feel like we probably should does it look dark over here to you guys, or Does is that... Does it look okay? Maybe it's just us because we see comments. Probably. Let us know. Yes. Yes. Turn to... it vertically. Turn it. Okay. Okay. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Ooh. We'll have to speed back a little bit then. Yeah. There we oh, go. Oh, they said no, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's going back. <laughs> Our first live, so bear with us. Yeah. We're like, oh my god, what are we doing? We'll figure it out. Boom. Well, thanks for hanging out, y'all. Um, yeah. We are... Hey, no laughing. <laughs> We're figuring it out. <laughs> today, to, today, tonight and today, I guess today's tonight and tonight's today, we are going to be doing a five-minute makeup challenge using our... Well, some of our spring favorites, not all. Yes, not and we'll all the go over. products are our favorites, but. True. And we'll go over them after and kind of show which ones and why. Yep. So then you know why it's a good thing. Why? And then. Why? Why? You're going to see all the randomness that happens when we film that yeah. is normally <laughs> edited out. Edit out. <laughs> Shoot. Oh, no. I know. <laughs> Get ready, y'all. Oh, um, no. And then we will oh. be answering some of your questions that you have for us. So if any questions come to mind right now, you can go ahead and ask them. And I have some yes. for my friends from earlier. So, yeah. You have friends? I have a couple. <laughs> I have, like, maybe one or two. Same. Nice. Solid friendships, though. <laughs> so we're each other's only friend. I have, you like, said one or two? I mean, maybe, like, three or four <laughs> or five. <laughs> So it's like, if your Math husband counts, and then if I count. Math is hard. We've had a day. Okay. Oh. Now, the uh, the rules to the five-minute makeup challenge mm -hmm. are... Oh, I thought you were going into it. I was I was ready. I was like, okay, go. Go, girl. Essentially, you only have five minutes to do a full face of makeup. Yes. Although, we are allowing ourselves to moisturize and prime before, because that has to dry. Yeah. So, I mean... To be fair, we'll yep. we'll do that. If that's cheating, then sorry. Right. And I'm putting mine on right now because yeah. I had so. to wash my face before this, and so I didn't put it on yet. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um. Also got my hair did today. Yeah, it looks good. It looks healthy. I'm trying to hit you in the face. It's not working. Oh, nice. And it smells good, too. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> it's a little darker, and I got a trim, so. Nice. It's a little fresh. Cool. A little fresh, fresh. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah. So you want to tell them how uh, setting up today went for... Well, um, so everything was going fine, and then I decided to hairspray my hair, and I dropped my hairspray bottle, and have you ever had this happen before where your bottle drops on the ground, the cap falls off that you press down on? And then, like, it just keeps spraying hairspray everywhere. Like, it doesn't stop. I don't... Uh, this is the second time it's happened to me, and... <laughs> wait, it's only the second time ever it's happened? Yes. Oh, uh, okay. It's yeah. happened to me plenty of times. It's the so. second time it's happened to me, and... I think you meant recently. Freaking out a little bit. That's okay. But we made it. We made it here. We are here. We're here. We're alive and well. We are alive and we are well. That's so cute. that's good. I would say so, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's solid. Yeah. Okay. Well, for priming, I used the clean it off. Elf Poreless Putty Primer. Woot woot. It makes your pores less. I bet you're gonna say like putty, and I was like, what? Ew. Yeah, I was. I was waiting, and I was ready to be like, okay, mm. <laughs> <laughs> bye. So, um. I have my timer ready whenever you're ready, Brittany. Okay, I just have to get a few... I'm, uh, I'm kind of nervous. 
Is going to be okay. Oh, I didn't get out my... Take some like deep breaths. Ooh, you got that old bronzer? Nice. You're revealing things here, man. What you doing? Well, it looks like I'm using my new mascara today because I don't know what my mascara is. Do you ever just misplace something that you swore was there and you're just like, where'd it go? No, I've never done that before in my life. Never. Never. Oh, wow. Trim head read. But the screen is sideways. Someone joined. Baby Yogi. Baby yo Yogo. Hi. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you for joining. Welcome to the madness. Welcome, 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 welcome. What's that from? To Illyrium. I was gonna say to Illyrium, but what is? Uh, she's a man. Thank you. I got you. I got you. She got my butt. Okay. Oh, my so, back. um, we're gonna get everything laid out and set up so we can just. Because that's how five minutes goes. Um, yeah. That's how it's going to go. Apparently. Okay. So are we allowed to curl our lashes before or no? I would say no. No? I wonder. Well, you don't have to curl your lashes, huh? Well, I'm just saying, like, it makes sense Fair to enough. moisturize and prime. You know what I'm saying? Fair enough. But if I rip out an eyelash, we all know who to blame. Her. It'll grow back. Eventually. That's the hope, right? Yeah. So we can moisturize before, so I did my lips. Cool. Okay. Are, oh. are you guys ready? Comment below. Now I'm ready. Are you guys ready? We are ready. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm not going to do that stuff. Okay. Okay. Are we... <laughs> I'm like, ah! I'm actually like really nervous. I know. Okay. This is gonna be Ready? so bad. Five. Wait, can we take caps off of anything? No, we can't. No, okay. no. Hey! <laughs> hers are open! Hers open are yours. open! Open yours. Open yours. No, that's cheating. Close them. You wanna you open You wouldn't let me curl my lashes. But you can open your products, right? No! <laughs> that's cheating! I think! I'm not trying to cheat. This okay. is gonna be really interesting. There's gonna be a lot of yelling, so potentially, potentially. We're loud okay. people. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Five. Five minutes to do our makeup. Here we go. Four, three, two, one, go. Okay. I'm going in with my concealer by Elf. Oh, that's awesome. I'm getting it in my hair. Okay. No, sir. A funny story. So I forgot my foundation at home. She did. So that's okay though. I'm using Britney's, which is like maybe a shade too light for me. But what do we say with foundation? When in doubt, go lighter because you can bronze it up. Yeah, sister. I mean that kind of works. Not always, I suppose, because if it's not the right undertone. <laughs> I mean, there's only so much you can do. Oh, I moved that off of my face okay. covering. Oh no. This is gonna be really interesting. It usually takes me like five minutes to do my foundation, so. <laughs> I can't laugh. How is this gonna work out? Oh, it's gonna be very interesting, especially since we're sharing a, what's this called? Setting, Setting spray. Look at that speedy hand, impressed, Becca. Thanks. Boom. I'm not impressed because I'm still on concealer. I guess I'm pretty good with my hands. <laughs> what? Shh. It's only awkward if you make it awkward. <laughs> Too late. Too late, man. We're adults. Dun 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 Three minutes? Three minutes and thirty seconds. No! <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay, there is gonna be a lot of yelling in this video. A what? There is going to be a lot of yelling in this video. Yes, there is. I thought it was like, oh, maybe this is a minute. Oh my gosh. I take forever to get, I've gotten better at being faster at getting ready. Ryan, don't say anything. And um, I, have, I have gotten better at being faster, but not like five minutes fast. Like when doing this much makeup. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, you know how many times I've woken up late in college? And just ran and out the door? 
Nope. No? Where's my... Like, oh, you gotta put on some mascara. Gotta put on a little concealer. Concealer. And then we good. Concealer. That's how I feel about it. Very I'm gonna. I'm scared to when I get to mascara. What very, I'm gonna do? Very, very if I poke my eye out, you're all witnesses. Oh, don't poke it out. That's my goal. You I know, like that's a good life goal. Thank you. I do too. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> I was like, I said I like <laughs> mine too. I mean, you have great eyes too, but Thanks. I'm just saying thank you. I like them too. <laughs> okay, we have two minutes left. <gasps> don't say such things. Powder, powder. Don't go everywhere. Hey. That's so much powder. Okay. I got some in my mouth. I'm not. I'm not pleased about this. Bronzer those. is essential. Essential part of life. It's an essential part of life. I thought I, I was over here thinking, oh, I'll do a little eye look. No way. Am I doing it? I gotta like, put no. the bronzer on the eyes. You know, you gotta put the bronzer on the eyes. Uh, yeah, I got powder um, in my mouth. We have a minute, thirty seconds left. Shh. We don't say anything they don't know. They want no, we're gonna be honorable. Things or whatever. That TikTok thing where she's like contouring her face. The what? Contour. Contour. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? Like, comment below. I don't <laughs> have TikTok. I have no idea. I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> it's something there. I don't know what it did. I don't know. I just saw powder of some kind go. <laughs> yep. I, I don't know if you guys saw it. It was probably more down there, but. The insanitary. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I got much coverage on my nose. <gasps> Less than a minute. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. How are you already at that step? Honey. I told you. Oh, I ate it. <laughs> that was not yummy. <laughs> We have almost 30 seconds left. I haven't done the most important part yet. Which is mascara. Oh, I haven't either. Okay, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay, we have 35 seconds left. The goal here is to not tear out my eyelashes. I still have that second mist in my mouth. A warning would be nice. Um, 25 seconds. 25, 25. 25, 25. Hubby song. What about 25? Shout out to Will to Mick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he's still here, hello. 14. Oh, no, sir. Six, five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. Done. Boom. <laughs> I missed half my oh, face, but I got it. My goodness. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, I'm, wow. I missed half my face with Misty. <laughs> I got like wow. here. Let's assess the situation. <gasps> Actually, oh. you know what? That Yours CC turned out a lot better. <laughs> that CC <laughs> cream isn't bad. Right? I like it. It's not bad. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's see your face, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Look at it. I hardly have any foundation. It looks like I didn't put like any foundation on and I did. It looks like no makeup makeup. <laughs> All right. Like... All natural, <laughs> no makeup, makeup, makeup. Right? Oh my gosh. Before this, I was sitting here thinking, <laughs> thank you. I okay, was what are we saying over here? Okay, I was thinking so... that I was going to like be able to do my eyebrows Hi, and Megan. do an eye look. Hi, y'all. Little did I know. You got this. We... I'm impressed. Thank you, Megan. Thank you, Megan's. Megan's, plural. <sighs> that was so stressful. I think I lost like a year of my life. <laughs> A year, wow. <laughs> or maybe like a couple days, I don't know. But. Who knows? Anyways. Yeah. Oh, one has more mascara than the other. It's okay. Thanks for counting down, though, because then I knew to switch yes, eyes. You're welcome. Because <laughs> she ain't <laughs> <You're welcome. laughs> I switched probably sooner than I should have. So Brittany would probably want to know. I, I would. Okay. I appreciate that. So, uh, you probably caught some of our products in the crossfire, but... Uh, maybe. Brittany, do you want to share your... Spring favorites. I ate before this. Okay. Or whatever. Yes. Okay. Hello, Megan Irwin. I thought you were trying to look Megan. at my stuff, and I was like, why are you tilting your head to look oh. right here? No. I'm really confused. Well, um, I've only used these a few times, but I love them. I didn't get to use them because it's eyebrow products, but um, it's at the brand's at Target. It looked fairly new, 
but it's called Arches and Halos by mm. Tanya Crooks, a professional brow. So, wow. I got the precision oh. pencil and then I got the brow stuff, like the natural hold brow gel in clear. And I forgot it comes out this Ooh, way. I like it. Yeah. And these little, little bristles are great for, I would do it, but that would be cheap. Oh, wait, that's a brow gel? Yeah. Wow. It's very precise, nice. you guys. Very, very this is nice. great. Agree. You y'all are still gorgeous. Aw, thank you, ladies. Thanks, guys. You guys are the best. You're just the greatest. <laughs> but, um, have you ever guys seen spoolies for eyebrows that are like twice this size? And yes, thickness? they're the best. Oh, I do I not. love them. I like these favorite. better. I could be more precise with my eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> Contradiction here. <laughs> preference. Yes, it's all preference. But I like the precision. I do too. Can you tell? Oh, I like the precision. 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 Yes. Cool. So you got a couple new brow products. Yes. Anything else that you've been liking in spring? For spring. Where did it go? Did I put it? I put it away by accident. Okay, so nice weather comes with more sun exposure. Um, so I'm trying a new sunscreen for my face, and I really like it. And Good. it's this one. It's at Target. Again, I live by a Target, okay? Um, it's the brand Versed, but it's a daily mineral sunscreen. Nice. 35 like SPF. It. So, yeah. It's more of a natural product, I suppose, but... Cool. Um, it comes out not the typical sunscreen color. Oh, is it like a tinted? Not sure. a tinted. It's just kind of got like a peachy tone to it. I think <clears throat> my guess so far, because I've been using it for like a month and a half, is so there's not a white tint to your skin from the sunscreen. Oh, smart. Mm -hmm. And I didn't put sunscreen on now because I didn't want like flashback from like the lights mm -hmm. and stuff. I really so, thought that one through. Yeah. No flash photography with sunscreen. But yeah, and it's moisturizing a bit too, which I like. Because my skin is very dry. Mm. Are you petting me? It just felt soft. <laughs> I would do the same with <laughs> Sure, Brittany. <laughs> sure. I would. Um, so far, I've been trying out this CoverGirl Lash Blast Clean Mascara. I've only used it twice. Face sunscreen. Face sunscreen, yes. Mm -hmm. Protects your skin, especially with aging. Yeah. And um, just kind of helping your skin over time. That's some good self-care. But um, for the mascara, um, I've only used it twice. So I haven't really gotten super close to my lash line. So I don't know yet if it like will really burn my eyes yet. Because a lot of mascaras can for me. I have to use fairly clean, organic mascaras to not have that happen. So... Stay tuned to if this will for sure burn my eyes or not. Very light mascara, it doesn't, but like really getting in there, I will find out. So, okay. oh, and it's not really new, but it's a new, it looks new and it seems like the formula is a little bit different, but the Physicians Formula Butter so Bronzer. Good. So good. I love this thing. Always good. Oh, yes. <laughs> Just a little. This is what the old one looked like. Mm -hmm. Um, I kind of liked it, you know. Just a little bit. She didn't hit the pan or anything. <laughs> Only as old as you feel. No, no, I take that back. You're not as old as you feel. Young at heart. Young at heart. There you go. Favorite <laughs> <mascara. laughs> just like... Whole video. Um, but what is your favorite mascara? Oh, honey. <laughs> My favorite mascara is the one by Honest Beauty. The duo. And then, like yes, the duo, duo with the lash primer because then I use less mascara. Yeah. And it sets it up to where then when I go in with that mascara part of it, then I'm pretty set and I don't have to use as much and it's not as clumpy and, go and goopy kind of a thing. Unless you like that look, then you can make that happen too. But another one I really like is from Well People. They have a really good mascara um, that also doesn't burn my eyes, so... It does a good job, but I'm always on the hunt for a good mascara to see if I can find something that mm -hmm. I like more. That doesn't hurt your eyes. Yes. Yep. 
I but love mascara. The fact that this one hasn't yet is a good sign because normally if I put it on, it'll and it's gonna burn. It burns right away. Mm -hmm. But some take a little bit longer till they burn. Like I get closer to my lash line, so I will find out and I will get back to you guys on that. Mm -hmm. What about you? Oh girl, or I almost let me talk to you. Okay, so. I forgot my foundation, but Brittany let me use this It Cosmetic CC Cream, and it's mm -hmm. probably one of, <laughs> I really like it, actually. It also works um, with I'm probably going to go get this for myself. <clears throat> it's great. It also helps with redness, because the lady <clears throat> that started the company, um, she has rosacea, and so she wanted to create something that would be more natural, but also still cover up redness, um, especially for people with rosacea, because there wasn't much out there that really stuck well. Cool. Should check out Root Beauty for all natural stuff. It's a local owl company, vegan. And, ooh, I will. Do it. Thank you. Root Beauty. I'll have to check that out. That's exciting. But anyways, I brought this up because mm -hmm. I left my spring favorite foundation at home, which is the... Brittany has it. It's just not my shade. No. Believe Beauty Foundation from Dollar General. And how much is it? It's five bucks. Round of applause. And it works like a charm. It works better than some like luxury foundations that I've used. So yes. doesn't break out my skin. Doesn't break out. Your not skin. yet. No. Yeah. There. I mean, there's not a lot of alcohol <clears throat> in it, which is one of the main causes of breakouts in foundation. So good. So good. And then <laughs> another dun, dun, dun. Um, product by Believe Beauty mm -hmm. Dollar General Fan that I've been loving is the mascara. How much was the mascara? Do you remember? I don't remember. Okay. But it was cheap. It yes. was very cheap. And I'm really picky about mascara. I'm a snob. So this stuff, y'all, I believe it's like the hydra, yeah, Hydrama Fiber whatever mascara. Is this all-day so coverage? Much. Yes, all-day coverage. Yes. We'll get to some of the questions about coverage and all that stuff in a second. Oh. Um, but then another spring favorite of mine, which I've had forever, and it's actually broken in the pan. But I've just... <laughs> I just rediscovered it. It's from Clinique. It's their uh, Sunkiss bronzer. Mm -hmm. I haven't used it for like two years, but it's amazing. It's so good. Um, so those are my three favorites. And then, sorry, more. Um, How number dare you seven. Like <laughs> number seven. You can find them at Walgreens, Target, drugstores. They have a translucent loose powder and then a pressed powder. And both of them work amazingly well. I like to use a pressed powder to set my under eye area. And I've noticed that it definitely helps prevent lines and things like that. And then the translucent powder is incredible for just all over your face. Or if you want to bake or anything like that. It's incredible. And all of these products are affordable. They're amazing. Except for the Clinique bronze. I was going to say, it depends <laughs> on your definition of affordable. <laughs> um, but I like to look for like powders and mascaras and foundations that are affordable because I run through those a lot quicker than like my bronzers and things like that. So True. Yeah. Yeah. Hence why I used this today. Was it all day coverage? You already yeah. That's right. That's right. I asked you. So. Okay, guys. We are going to move into... Um, oh, did you want to talk about that? That is also another affordable CC cream from the drugstore. Yes. It's, people say it's a dupe for this one, but there mm -hmm. is going to be, uh, better for your skin overall products in the It Cosmetics one because they do have stuff, uh, for anti-aging. Wow. Anti-aging. Yes. Anti-aging. I got you. <laughs> and, um, hydrating and there's, um, SPF in here. So this is going to be a little bit better for your skin, but um, this does a great job as well. And it doesn't feel like you're wearing a lot. Same with the Believe one. It feels like you're not wearing something heavy, thick foundation. It feels very light. So it's wonderful. Sweet. Yes. So if you have any other questions, let us know. I do have some questions that my friends asked. Do you want to get into them? Why not? Should we just dive right in? Dive. Funny story. <laughs> so one time when we were filming, we did that, and what did you hit? Did you hit the desk with your knee? Yeah, I like slammed my knee into the desk as we're doing this. Because Brittany decided to dive out of the shot, and I was like, "Well, I gotta dive too." We were just like, I wasn't, "Oh!" I wasn't ready, and I slammed myself pretty hard. 
Oh, the number of times we've hit stuff, though. I don't know how often it makes it in the video, but... Okay, so the first question is how to color match. So I'm assuming that's foundation. Yes, probably foundation and concealer. Mm -hmm. So I would say with concealer, it depends on if you want it... Um, like if you want brightening, you probably want something lighter. Like this isn't my tone. Um, <laughs> we do need a bloopers video. <laughs> that will be coming at some point. <laughs> There's a lot of bloopers. Yes. Um, but this will brighten it up a little bit and has a little bit of a peach undertone to help cancel out that dark circle, uh, dark circles that I get. If you don't get them, you don't want to brighten under eye, you don't need to. And if you want it to be maybe less noticeable, you could go with more of a skin tone match like you would with pimples. Like I have one up here. I don't know if you guys can see very well. And I did cover, but whatever. <laughs> hey, I'm explaining things, okay? Don't sass me. You're fine. Little sass back, man. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh my gosh. I need to not get enough sleep. Okay. Um, but match more to your skin tone. And it does help to know your undertones. Um, like I have like a peachy kind of reddish undertone, but I do also then have olive skin tone. So it's like, depending on the foundation, it depends on if it works for me. Mm -hmm. But and I would say if you do have rosacea, mm -hmm. um, it's even more imperative that you make sure your foundation matches your neck area yes, because your rosacea is in true skin color. Mm -hmm. So if you can... I know that Ulta right now is not doing color matching I don't for know foundation. Sephora is. You might have to kind of guess, but um, mm -hmm. a good way to color match is just to go by your jawline. Yeah, like blend to go right in. here, mm -hmm. blend it here. See if it matches it. your neck color. That's mm -hmm. good. Yes. Um, as far as another question that's kind of related to that, how to pick the right bronzer color for your skin. I would say if you are fair, so lighter toned, don't mm -hmm. tan easily, um, then you definitely want to go with the light bronzer. So don't get like, something with an orange undertone. Do not get the orange undertones. Man, I wish I had my other bronzer here. But essentially you want to go, ooh, that's a good yeah. say. Essentially you want to go with like the lighter mm -hmm. undertones as opposed to this. Yeah. So for example, I have more of a medium tone skin, so I would probably go with the orange undertones, whereas Brittany would probably go with the... If I want to be less noticeable, ones. I'll do that. But if I want mm -hmm. to be a little bit more, I'll do that one. Mm -hmm. But depending on Kelsey. your... Hey, Kelsey! Hey, Kelsey! What's up, girl? But depending on your skin tone will depend... Yeah. On, so... Like, whatever your undertone is will match with mm -hmm. bronzer. Figure out your skin tone. Figure out your undertone. Mm-hmm. Voila. Sometimes it takes playing around to really figure that out. Okay. Um, how to apply bronzer depending on your face shape. Hello. <laughs> um, I would say follow, like, where shadows bone hit structure. your face. Bone structure, shadows. So as far as, like, the cheek area, you want to go where your, what do you call this? Cheekbones? Like the hollow of your cheek? <laughs> your cheekbones. <laughs> These are your cheekbones! I took anatomy in college! What am I doing? I'm um, tired, that's what I... But there's like... A, never mind. You know what? Just forget about it. These are your cheekbones. <laughs> so if I have my bronzer, essentially I want to apply it along my cheekbones. <laughs> One helpful tip. Do not go towards your mouth. Mm -hmm. Ladies! Do not. You want to go away from your face. So apply yes. your bronzer by your cheekbones away from your face. Mm -hmm. And if you want to keep that overall sun's hitting <clears throat> you type look, mm -hmm. apply it close to your hairline as well. Mm -hmm. And then under your jawline, so here is where I apply it. I'm just mm -hmm. going through where I apply it. Down my neck and then right under my lip. Mm -hmm. For my me, like I would say like feel where your cheekbone is at and kind of do like under mm -hmm. if you are say maybe older um and you have some you have less elasticity in your skin i would do maybe a little bit more on top of the bone than like right under to kind of give your face a little bit lift. of a lift mm -hmm. 
Um, if you have a big forehead, you could probably bring it down a little bit more if you want to shorten your forehead. If you have a smaller forehead, but you want to make the cohesiveness of using bronzer, then just do like a little bit up here. You don't have to bring it down very far if you have a smaller forehead. But if you have a bigger forehead and you don't care about shortening it, that's fine. Um, I do up here and I bring it down like a little bit here just to kind of, you don't have to, but I do just to kind of bring it together more. And I do here, I do under my jaw, I do a little bit here. Um, mm -hmm. And I do it on my nose. I'm still playing around with how best to um, contour my nose for my nose shape. So I'm still playing around with that. So I haven't done it on camera yet. Um, but so for now, I just kind of, on camera, I just do this to kind of have it blend in and not have it just be like, not have any bronze on it because if it was sun-kissed, it, it would be a little bit for that, so. Sweet. Yeah. Good question. Thank you. Um, and then I said thank you. setting spray. <laughs> you didn't ask the question, Brittany. I know. Megan's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Megan's as in it's like earlier when you said two. thank you and <laughs> <laughs> that's so true both of my friends who are both named Megan hi thank you for being here Megan Square um they have asked all these wonderful questions so Kelsey if you have any questions I don't know if you're still here girl but if you have any questions let us know yes um and they don't have to be makeup related so, um, another question, and Megan, you can correct me if I'm wrong, is setting spray or bake? So, do you mean, like, should you bake or should you use setting spray? Is it, like, or one both. or the other, or is it how to do both? Or... Megan one mate. We're unsure. <laughs> Megan one is Megan Taylor. Megan two is Megan Irwin. All right. Well, until we find out for sure... Um, I personally don't bake because I have dry skin and I've tried it and for my skin, it just accentuates fine lines. So I don't personally really do it. I just kind of like, where's my... One or the other or both is what she meant. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I just kind of will do that. So then, and then once, um, I've packed on, packed on the powder, um, <laughs> <laughs> baking is icky <laughs> agreed <laughs> yeah um then I'll go through and wipe because um if I were to just go in with powder to foundation go like this it would just clump in only certain areas and I want even distribution distribution I can talk and swear I'm an educated adult it's man okay we we're struggling it's fine <laughs> we know how to speak English we speak things okay it just comes out a little fuzzy sometimes that's how it comes out but <laughs> don't make me crack I got this I know words um I pack it on and then brush it so then um it's not cakey not cakey it's not chunky and I get an even coverage and then I'll go through and brush product away oh send it in the sun um to finish up the baking slash setting spray yes the only time I would do baking, if you have combination skin, mm -hmm. is if you are doing an intense eye look mm -hmm. and you have foundation on and you want mm -hmm. to catch all the color. That's when baking mm -hmm. really works. But what I found... And make the contrast. Yes. Mm -hmm. But what I found is that it actually accentuates the lines under my eyes and accentuates my pores. Same. So you really have to play around with that one when it comes to baking. But I would say that setting spray is more useful mm -hmm. than baking if yeah. your goal is longevity. So mm -hmm. if you want your makeup to last all day and stay on your face, I would say use a little powder, mm -hmm. obviously set your face, don't bake, and then use that setting spray. You can do both. There's a lot of people that do both, but mm -hmm. neither yeah. of us really bake. You can do both, play around with it, but I would mm -hmm. say ultimately setting mist is more... Yeah. Reliable. I like the Morphe one. Okay, so this question is... Sunscreen. I spent all of Sunday in the sun. Doesn't cause breakouts. Um, We will answer that in one second. I have to... Do you want to... Yes. About sunscreen? So, I have to um, <laughs> take something out to my husband. Thank you for tuning in with uh, sunscreen. Um, 
<laughs> review with Becca <laughs> that you haven't tried. I don't know what I'm talking about because I've never used a sunscreen before. <laughs> do you remember what I said about it? But I do know that sunscreen is really good for your skin if you don't want to age like an old lady and you want to look young forever. You said... Brittany said that this is a great sunscreen and you should go purchase it today at your local drugstore. Target. Target. <laughs> at your local Target. Swatch it. Swatch it. I'm going to swatch this for you. Get a little close up there. Oh, just look how that comes up. Bye. <laughs> I'm back. I'm scared. Um, so you're going to rub this in your skin. Pretend like this is your face. Look how nicely that rubs out. Oh, isn't that so nice? You're just gonna rub it like that. Nice. Um, The cool thing about this sunscreen that Brittany mentioned, now that I can actually remember things like a normal human being, is that it doesn't have, uh, it's not like a white cream. So it's actually more of a peach. I don't know if you saw that in the bottle, but <laughs> <laughs> don't tell Brittany that happened <laughs> um so it's like a peach color are you are you are you doing okay um, here yes I'm fine oh it's, um, it's a peach color that's so. professional rubbing what did you do while I was gone back that's professional rubbing <laughs> thanks Megan <clears throat> um so since it has a peach undertone, it's not mm -hmm. gonna leave like a white cast on your face. I'm right downstairs. And then it just feels really soft. <laughs> yes, it's a little bit moisturizing. Um, it's SPF of 35. Yeah. Um, oh my gosh. It's less. You okay. <laughs> I ran, man. Heart rate goes up. Mm -hmm. Asthma, man. Um, oh my gosh. Sorry. Oh my gosh. Who can relate to this right now? Like, would this work if I did that? Potentially. Nice. You can't see it, but we did something. Anyway, <laughs> um, uh, less chemicals are in it. It's at Target, and um, the brand, the lady um, that was part of starting it, she has a skincare line that I love. So definitely check it out. It's awesome. Okay. Great question, Kelsey. Sunscreen yes. is important. Mm -hmm. Um, and then another question we have is how to cover up acne right away, the right way with makeup. I've had times before where I cover it up with concealer and foundation and it doesn't really actually cover it up. Good question. <clears throat> yeah, well, I did a bad job with our five minute challenge of doing that for mine, but, <laughs> <laughs> um, different things that have worked for me is, um, so before foundation, but like after your primer and stuff. Um, take it and kind of put it on here, but leave it pretty, not like super thick, but like mm -hmm. kind of don't blend it out everywhere and let, let it kind it of bake. Let, bake. Let it bake. So let it kind of dry a little bit and then you can either blend it out a little bit before or you can then just go in with your foundation and it kind of leaves a nice cover over it and then make sure to set it with powder um, yes. so that stays there and keeps yes. coverage there. Powder is imperative. Yes. Good powder. Agreed. So when you put your moisturizer and uh, primer on, I guess you don't really need primer. Um, but Depends. like Brittany said, conceal the acne, mm -hmm. let it set, blend it out a little bit when you put your foundation over it. Mm -hmm. And then if you need to add like another dab or two, that's fine. Mm -hmm. But setting powder. Yes. All the way, setting powder will help sure. a lot to keep it locked in on your acne. Mm -hmm. And then... Just something that I don't realize is I know where my acne is and sometimes I like touch it throughout the day or mm -hmm. I pick at it. If you want that makeup to really cover it, don't touch your face. Yes. Leave it alone. Leave it be. Let it be. I was just thinking about that song. Yes. That was an interesting high five. Do you guys have any other questions? Like we are, we are an open book. Um, hmm. sounds like I need to get powder. setting powder. Oh, you know, another thing I thought about with that question, Megan, is what products are you using? Are you using like full coverage? Because sometimes if you're not using the right product, it won't cover your acne because it's just not meant to be a full coverage product. Mm -hmm. So I would say if maybe it, there's a day when you have 
more acne on your skin, whatever, do that full coverage foundation and then make sure that you have a nice coverage, a nice concealer <laughs> <Where are you? laughs> because sometimes we don't realize it's actually the foundation or the concealer that's a problem. It's not or application. No. Sometimes it's application, mm -hmm. but sometimes it's the product. Yeah. Or it's what you're using. Sometimes yeah. a sponge is better than a brush and sometimes it's the other way around. Any specific recommendations? For setting powder, if you mm -hmm. want something that is affordable, mm -hmm. um, I absolutely love the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Setting Powder. That was like a really long straight before. Hey, you remember the name of it though. Focus translucent setting powder. You sound so professional. Look at you. Oh my gosh. I've been using it for like two years now and it's so Come, nice. <laughs> couple months. <laughs> Usually I use a brush. A brush. Okay. okay. Try a sponge. These are real technique sponges. You can get them at the drugstore and mm -hmm. they're affordable. Yes. Um, they're great. Get them wet and then wring it out. They're so good. So they're like damp. Yeah. You can use this for your foundation, concealer, powder. Mm -hmm blush love it um i have dry skin and so i'm trying to find a good drugstore one that works for my skin but the hourglass veil one is what works the translucent one for my dry skin is what has worked really well cool Colorful awesome. true blend concealer and outlast all day foundation the covergirl true blend concealer is really good mm -hmm. um I don't know that I'll last all day foundation. I don't either. Is that CoverGirl? Probably. I don't know. Um, if you want, we can go makeup shopping together and pick out a good foundation. Because there's some... I think last time we went was like two or three years ago. Um, maybe it was two. I don't remember. But they have some really solid drugstore yeah. foundations right now. It's always fun to go with friends to help pick it out is. makeup. It's maybe so fun. Maybe we can all go together. It's so much fun. Um, but yeah. That's a really good setting powder by Hourglass. Mm -hmm. The Wet n Wild one. This number seven translucent powder is really good. Mm -hmm. Which is at the drugstore. Yep, you can find it at the drugstore. Mm -hmm. Take me too. Take me yes, too. let's all go. We all go. CoverGirl's awesome. The only thing with their foundations that I found is that not all of them are full coverage. Mm -hmm. So they look nice. They make your skin look nice, but they're mm -hmm. not necessarily full yeah. coverage. Something to be beware of with some powders. Um, you can get flashback, like if you were to do a flash uh, for like maybe pictures or something. I haven't gotten any with this, but uh, I'm trying to think Ooh, of what yeah, ones do that. Um, Have you tried it out with number seven? Has it done that? I haven't found any flashback with my powders mm -hmm. with the number seven or the wet and wild. Mm -hmm. Ones that aren't translucent. Tend to sometimes I've do that. I've found more flashback. So make yeah. sure you find the, the translucent ones. Mm -hmm. Um, there was one more question. I don't know if you have a lot of experience with fake lashes, mm. but there was a question about that, like how to apply them. How Correct. to apply. It's I easier think. said than Correct done. Me if I'm wrong. Um, I don't do them very often, so I'm a bit out of practice, but, um, something that's helpful, um, is kind of put it on your eye and then like prior to any glue and see if it fits uh, your eye. And if it's a little bit long, then to cut that off on both. And then um, put glue along your lash line and on the lash, tacky. It's like when you touch it, it's a little bit tacky, but not completely dry. And then start, sorry, before you put it on though, like go like this with the lash to kind of bend it a little bit so that kind of molds with your eye shape a little bit more. And then you kind of start right here Start with the inner corner and then go to out because inner corner seems to be the hardest part to get to stick. Ooh, that's where I fell short. Okay, that helps a lot. <laughs> it's like line it up there and then mm -hmm. go out. Cool new invention. Maybe it's not new. Maybe I just found it. What? Never knew about it. Magnetic lashes. So mm. I, I try recently those. did magnetic lashes for a bride. And the only issue we had was that the inner corner was not sticking. And oh. I think what I realized is that I did not put enough eyeliner. So the eyeliner for the magnetic lashes... I've heard it takes like three coats. ...is magnetic. And I only put on one coat. Oh, so I think okay. that was my issue. 
Definitely try those though, because then you don't have to mess around with like glue mm-hmm. or anything. You can just apply it like eyeliner. Mm-hmm. Phenomenal. So easy to use. My cousin has lens a disease, lens yeah, can, disease. That's awesome that she, she loves those. Oh my gosh. She has to be great. Lashes. Yeah. They're so easy to use. Just mm-hmm. apply like two to three coats of mm-hmm. that. And let them dry in between is what I've heard. Eyeliner. Lens. Lens. <laughs> <laughs> Lol. Miss Spells. Been there. Oh my goodness. Oh, the things. Um, so are there any other... Is there any other questions? Yes, we are... We are yours for the night. If you need us. For, for a little bit longer. <laughs> for a little bit longer. <laughs> because we're tired. But we want to talk to you. Yeah, it's fun. Now. We enjoy the things. <laughs> We'll talk to you right now. So comment, man. Comment below. Let us know the things. All the things. Are there any other like common questions that you get about makeup? Um, have to wash your brushes and technically it's supposed to be like once a month. Some people say with a beauty blender you should wash it after every use, and I'm like, that's a bit excessive though. Maybe wash it once a week. I don't know. Appreciate mm-hmm. you ladies. Oh, we appreciate you. You guys have been Aww. so supportive and so awesome. That's all I had. Super helpful. Sweet. That's what we're awesome. here for. Yeah. We like talking about makeup. It's fun. We love makeup. It's so much fun. Um, makeup store is <clears throat> my playground. Like oh, it. yeah. Beauty Blender once a week. Agreed with Brittany. Mm-hmm. For sure. Makeup brushes. <laughs> I need to wash mine to look. <laughs> it's having the knowledge of knowing that you need to actually clean them, but you don't. This has Aww, been very I'm glad. Cool. Thanks, Thanks Kelsey. Kelsey. Who... who are you? Have I met Kelsey? I don't think you have. How do you know Kelsey? She, her husband works with my, with Ryan. What? That's awesome. Ryan is my twin and he's yes. her husband, as you know. I mean, I hope she'd know by now. <laughs> <laughs> if not, there'd be a problem. I like to state the obvious, apparently, for no okay. reason. <laughs> she didn't know that. I saw her like Sometimes over a month ago. <laughs> Sometimes I notice in our videos, yeah, I say things that are so obvious, and it's like, why didn't you even say that? Yes, Sometimes when you I, say it, I just sit here and I don't say anything. I'm like, like, whatever. There goes Becca again, stating the obvious. I'm just like, she's doing what she's doing. <laughs> yes, he's the best. He is the best. I had to. We were borrowing Ryan's ring light, and he is going live on Twitch right now. And Ooh. I saw him text me at like 8:34, and I was like, "Oops, he needed it four minutes ago." Yeah. Time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> so that's why I had to go give him and our wire lighting change. And why you were stuck with me for like a minute. What What did you guys talk about? The sunscreen? Did you attempt? I was trying to make it happen. I was trying to do something. I don't know what I was trying to do. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Well, thank Anyways, you guys for tuning in yes, and for thank your questions. You. This was so much fun. Yeah, we'll post this uh, video just maybe an edited version on Friday. So if you missed anything or want to can't, if you don't remember some stuff, uh, we'll see about putting products description. Yeah. Products in yeah. the description box. She edits, so I didn't want to like assume. Oh no, it's fine. It's you know fine. what I'm saying? Yeah, we'll make it don't happen. Assume. We'll make it happen. If you have any kinds of questions or videos that you want to see in the mm-hmm. future, we'll probably go live again at some point. So yes, this was fun. It was fun. Well, thanks for joining. Good night, everyone. Bye. Bye. See you later. Bye. <laughs>